just your voice. So what I'm hearing you say is that <coughs> the meaning of God is something more powerful than the human race. And yes. So the very definition of God being more powerful than humanity means it could be anything like a, a black hole or something. And literally. If it's more powerful we, than humanity. Exactly. Then it is the literal definition of what we as humanity gave it. Mm-hmm. We can't deny that. Yet that's literally all we're trying to do is try to rewrite history and say that, oh, oh, just kidding. Mm-hmm. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. Because what happened was people realized what that meant and it got scary really quick mm-hmm. and fight or flight kicks in and the easiest explanation is to find shelter and I mean it's very easy to see what happened it all makes very so much sense and it all of it started making sense to me whenever that girl in Alaska I told you about earlier full circle man I went up my second time third time and this bitch was crazy love you Cassie if you ever listen to this but crazy try telling me God made the earth in seven 24 hour days <laughs> really I thought we were cool I mean I can question re- religion and Christianity but you're getting like a little off the chain with this like really you were literally putting God in a box by telling him he only had 24 hours Fuck, you do what he, the shit he wants to do. He is literally more powerful than you. How the fuck are you telling him he can only make the earth in 24 hour days? Just because you're going to try and interpret the entire. Really? Calvinists are insane. And they are fascinating. And so I spent like two years studying theory to argue with people because they were crazy. But that ignited something in me, in that we were all putting God in a box, and that we were all wrong this entire time. I mean, I'm not saying it hasn't done anybody a hell of a lot of good. Organized religion has banned a lot of people. It has been a moral, not with Catholic Church standing, but for the most part over the course of human history, minus the whole massacres that happened. Never mind. Fuck it all. Fuck religion. Think about it. Think of how many people fucking were massacred because they weren't quite certain if they wanted to agree that, that their God was the right one. Think about that. And all of the people that started those massacres were fighting in the name of who? Jesus Christ. The God they thought was him. Exactly. So, you have to break down everything about what anyone thinks it is be anything. No labels, no definitions, no religion. Fucking sound like I'm talking about fucking imagined by John Lennon. Maybe he's right, but my mom always said he wasn't, and that's why I wanted to listen to the song. <laughs> but I'm serious when I tell you he was not wrong. Now, communism is fucked up, it's not gonna work. That's a long story. But when it comes on a religion standpoint, he was hitting something there. And that we have been wrong this entire time. And no one's willing to admit that. Why? Because of the, um, what's that equation? The, it's an equation. And it's very simple in that if you don't believe in God, you go to hell. If you do believe in God and there is a heaven, you go to heaven. So believing is always going to be technically better because you get a better result in the end, correct? That was the whole reason my dad told me to believe in Christianity and I'm better than bullshit. Bullshit. All that does is literally prevent you from stopping and thinking and asking why. Why can't you be both? Can't. Why? Because what is so important about being a Christian? Tell me. Nothing, but that's my point. Why is it unimportant that you have a relationship with someone who because actually created you because there if been, God exists. Because that relationship that you're talking about is literally just our way of attempting to make a relationship with something that we don't understand. And the problem is everyone else judges everyone else for their own attempts at finding that relationship. And it doesn't look like yours. 
no one else will ever look like yours because no one is the same as you or anyone else. And the problem is, the, the biggest problem, and I'm saying this with the most sincerity, is that the majority of the people who say they are Christians only do it because they're following someone else. They never thought about it, just like I never thought about it. They just do it because they just do it. There's no... So what if you experience in person? Does that change it? Depends on how you experience it and what it looks like and how it feels. Because I can tell you that I've experienced a lot of shit in my life that can far surpass that anything anyone could ever experience. Is it a moment where God... I wish that I had actual words that anyone could ever understand because I know, I understand what that is. I understand the power. I understand what we've been trying to find. I understand what we're looking for. And the meaning that that idea and fundamental understanding gives us. The problem is that the human race, specifically Anglo-Americans in the United States over the last 500 years, has destroyed what it means to actually understand what I'm trying to say is. And until we drop the labels and the boxes, it will never come back to the way it was supposed to be. <laughs> and no one's ever listened to me. They've always just said I was blasphemous and it's only hell. I believe that God exists, but I think that without all the labels, he'll prove himself to you if you want to know about him. And the labels don't matter. No labels should ever exist for anyone. Mm-hmm. Labels, they're important for keeping track of certain things, but we a little bit, we got overzealous with the use of labels and it stuck to the point where people got stuck in the labels. They stopped with the labels and didn't look beyond it. Yeah, because the only people that had given the labels are the people that figured the labels out to begin with. And then after that, the labels have no meaning because no one has any meaning. And I'm sorry, if you're gonna tell me that everything else in the physical world, okay, in the physical world, okay, on the quantum realm mm-hmm. of what we have proven exists has always in a, cha- in, a, in a state of change it's proven mm-hmm. why would any other state of reality if it actually exists not have changed too Assume that say the way it was 2,000 years ago and it was supposed to keep doing things they were done 2,000 years ago. We just assume that all of that was, it has stayed in a state of permanent fixation of the way things were. They didn't understand. They never got it. The whole reason why Revelation was written to begin with was because, yes, I truly believe they saw the future. They just didn't know what the fuck they were looking at. Of course they saw locusts in the sky. They were fucking helicopters. The fuck does a helicopter look like if you didn't never seen one before? A locust in the sky that sounds like a locust. I'm not, tell- I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm not saying that I don't believe in you. That's not ever been what I've been saying. I've been saying they fucked it up. And no one actually understood what was going on. And then they destroyed the course of human history because of it. The intention was good. The intention was there. And the information and the knowledge that exists in the Bible is important. But they fucked it up. 2,000 years ago they fucked that up and we are still paying the price for it. And we won't get over that until we realize what happened. And realize we fucked it up. And realize, guess what? There's another way we can look at this. You see what I'm trying to say? That's why I said I've always believed in care. Doesn't align with anyone. Never has, and maybe one day will, but it won't be with anyone but me.
because no one understands what I've seen and what I've understood since I was a kid. And no one has ever given me a chance to explain. I'm not trying to argue with you for the sake of arguing. No, not you. I'm just the, the collective you, especially when it comes to religion. I love arguing. Don't get me wrong. But there's a point. Because I would have never come here had it not been for arguing with what has been and what always has been and what I have been told always oh, should be because that's wrong. All of it's wrong. Everything about the fundamental society we live in was broken because some motherfucker decided to take it up his ass and get it all fucked up. I can't either. Really. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. But yet, then everyone decided to put these quaint little categories everywhere and decide what you could or couldn't do, what you should or shouldn't do. But it was okay if they did that. But it was okay if they didn't do that. Oh, it's okay because we're getting some money. Oh, but I'm going to go slaughter half a million people. All for the sake of God. They all got it wrong. Everyone has always gotten it wrong. And it wasn't until I saw that black hole that I already, everything came together. And I had no words, but it all made sense finally. Number three, balance. The power that exists between myself, music, and, and the weather, and my understanding of what I know. Something more powerful than me. It, I do not like the word God because that word is tainted to me. There is no word in my language for what I know to be more powerful than myself. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Judge me as you will. But I feel like I'm probably closer than that person, that entity, that being, or whatever the fuck it is than anyone I've ever met. And I'm okay with that. Because I've seen the truth. And I know the only way for us to actually get, I can see how things could be. It's going to be 20,000 years probably until we eat a halfway there. And it's tragic, really. We have so much potential. But it's inevitable. The human race is just so slow so slow. They never learn from their mistakes, they always fuck it up, and like I said, big history. After Oliver died, I had to figure out what led here from the beginning. Of no provable history, right? No one even really has any perspective on how vast and grand and large that was before the idea of Jesus Christ was ever came up with. Millions of years. Really? You can't tell me that all those people, really, just because they hadn't heard the name of Jesus Christ, really? No, I'm sorry, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. They got it wrong. They were trying. But their definition led to a definition to someone else's misunderstanding to what led to being written in the Bible. And that's where it led. So, maybe one day someone will let me rewrite it. Huh? Garrett's version of the Bible? <laughs> I read that one. I've never read the Bible. You have it? Nope. I won't. I can't. I tried. I've read books. I've read Revelation like eight times. It's the only one that I could 100% every single... I could break down Revelation for you. Tell you exactly what happened, what he was seeing, and why he said what he did. And explain what it actually means to us in a way that... I love that book. Literally, it's the only book. It's the only book in Bible worth reading. Everything else just... It was someone else's misinterpretation of someone else's some misinterpretation and I just really have a problem reading something that I 
coat to his holes and everything. What I do? Just be a judge. Just be a judge. I'm very, very, very. Did I say justice was like my my card earlier? Yeah. I think so. I was just like, paying more. Justice is my card. card. Justice. I was mostly just assigning a conversation. It's not a conversation. What is this? Uh oh, I think it's back. <sighs> I don't know if you're back. Is there those right, stickers stuck to this stuff, but I don't know what it is. Oh, it's in black. I probably shouldn't chip it upside down. <coughs> the fuck? So it's dry on the outside if you're really careful. I want to hear your rebuttal. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me to suck it, bitch. You're wrong. Oh, which? All of it. I like arguing with them. The only way to search for truth. Dude. Be really careful, and they're super fingerprinty right now. Don't get that glitch in your shirt. Dude, I remember. I'm like, how many times? I'm glad to go. I'm all Vinny also don't have the prescription of uploads and everything. I just every time I spend money in the store, fucking bitches. Yay! Yeah. Holy oh, shit for a minute. It's, it's like a new person. It's Whoa. An hour and a half. Yeah. It's a long time to be blind and like not asleep. <laughs> like, oh that's still pretty kind of happened over down there. <laughs> it's amazing the things that like I didn't trip on that the entire time my glasses were on, that's bullshit. The entire time I didn't trip on that shit in the second apartment. Really? That's what I'm talking about. The fuck is that? It's like part of my brain's like, bye. Diverting Gone. <coughs> Bullshit. <coughs> that was like 15 minutes of like diatribe of some sort. Maybe I'll listen to it at some point.